Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to go through the solution for this uh, leak code practice question, find duplicate file in system. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to explain the procedure we usually follow in a real coding interview. So let's get started. So in the real coding interview, uh, the first step is uh, always try to understand the problem. If there is anything uh, unclear, please bring up the question. Uh, it is always good to ask some good questions, so don't be shy. And also, uh, think about some edge cases which uh, you need to deal with especially uh, at the very beginning in the code implementation. So let's take a look at the uh, question. So given a list of the directory info, including the directory paths, and all the files with contents in this directory, you need to find out all the groups of the duplicate files in the file system in terms of their passes. So a group of the duplicate files consists of at least two files that have exactly the same content. So a single pass info string in the input list has a following format. So the first one is a uh, directory, and then each of the segment, uh, the following segment would be the file name, and uh, in the parentheses, it is the file content. So the output is a list of the group of the duplicate file passes. So for each group, it contains all the file passes of the file that have the same content. <clears throat> so for this, for example, for this one, uh, the duplicate files are uh, this, uh, this the first list and the second list. So let's see the no. So there are some notes. So no order is required for the final output, which is good to know. And uh, we assume that the directory name, file name, and file content only has letter digits. So we, we don't need to worry about what if the file content contain uh, some uh, parentheses. So uh, the number of the files given in the range 1 to 20k, and assume the no file or directory share the same name in the same directory. So we don't need to worry about like illegal inputs, which is good. And also, uh, we assume that each given directory info represents a unique directory. So directory pass and the file info are separated by the single blank space. So this is uh, pretty clear for regarding the question, and I don't think that there is any edge case. So the next step is about finding a solution. You discuss with the, the solution with the interviewer, do some runtime space analysis, and then uh, get an agreement before start coding. So let's see the solution, and I'm also going to go through this piece of, piece of code to see uh, how it works. So first of all, uh, we define a hash map. So the map, the key of the map is uh, file content, and the value is a, a set of the string. So each string in the set is a file pass. So we go through the input. So we go through the input, and uh, we segment uh, each pass into a into like a, a into a string array. So the first one is is the directory, the directory name. So for example, for this one, the first uh, uh, for this this string, this pass, the first one is the directory name, and each of the following segments are the file name and the file content. So we extract the file name and the file content, and uh, we put uh, the file content and the file name into the corresponding file pass, content file pass map. map. So the key is the file content, and the value is the directory plus the file name. So after that, we should have uh, a map containing all the file contents and the corresponding passes that contain uh, the contents. And then we trace through the map, if the size of the, so we iterate to the map, if for a given key, the corresponding value has a size smaller or equal to one, then we are just going to continue because that is not uh, a duplicate file. We only have one items for that. And otherwise, it means if when there are multiple pass, when there are multiple files uh, containing the same file content, then we are going to add it into a list. Then we finally add the list into the result, and uh, we return the result. So that's essentially uh, the solution and this piece of code. So the runtime is uh, we need to go through every pass, uh, do the corresponding string uh, operation. So let's say we have n of the passes, and each pass has uh, 
m files so it is going to be n times o n times m um, yeah so that's pretty much about the runtime so um, during the co during the coding part uh, take care about the correctness of the code and also uh, write some make sure you write some uh, code that is um, easy to maintain so for example take care about the uh, variable name and the naming convention to make sure that it is readable and the, the formatting and also think about uh, some if there is some common logic you can extract to a helper function please do that and also after you're done with coding it's time for you to do some testing if it is a runnable platform please uh, set up some test cases uh, and run through it check about the bugs if it is not a runnable platform uh, you need to uh, do some manual checking do some sanity check uh, and uh, go through the code manually to fix a bug explain the code etc so that's it for uh, this uh, question and the procedure um, about uh, and explaining the procedure of coding interview. So if you have any question, please leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.